David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. These are very trying times that we're living through right now, with unprecedented actions being taken by the entire world. It almost seems like it's not real, like it's the plot of some movie. Uh, personally, there's been some extreme challenges at my work, and precautions are being taken at home. Thankfully, everyone in the family is healthy, and I hope that you stay healthy as well. Uh, preparing this review has kind of helped bring a little bit of normalcy back to me at the end of this week, and I hope that watching it does the same for you and gives you something interesting to watch to take your mind off of things, even if only for a few minutes. Okay. Today I have for you a pen from Montegrappa, which is a new version of an existing model which is an exclusive offering at Goulet Pens. And that pen is the Elmo, and the model is the Chrysocola. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Montegrappa Elmo Chrysocola, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Uh, thanks go out to the good folks at Goulet Pens for providing this pen for review. Uh, Montegrappa relaunched the Elmo model back in early 2019. Uh, the pen marked a return to Montegrappa's more modest roots and the vision of their original co-founder Heinrich Elmo Helm. Helm was the company's first technical director back in the early 1900s. His know-how and charisma inspired the company to name its first products after him, and their Elmo pens would go on to become a mainstay of Italian offices and schools for decades to come. Uh, the pen arrives in this nice gray box. The last Elmo I received had a black box. I'm not sure if this color changes for all Elmos or just the limited edition model, but here is the pen. This is the Montegrappa Elmo Chrysocola. Uh, the pen is named after the mineral Chrysocola. The color of the mineral can range from a dark blue to a light green. Uh, the name actually originates from the ancient Greek words for gold and glue and are an allusion to the name of the material used to solder gold. Uh, the resin used in this pen sticks more to the green side of the spectrum with various shades of green with some white mixed in. Um, I like the technique used in the mixing of the colors of this resin. Uh, it's not swirled, it's more dragged vertically. Uh, given the nature of this technique, every pen will be slightly different, but I do really care for this green material. It reminds me of how colors can be layered in the brush strokes of an oil painting. The end of the pen cap is rounded, and that transitions into the clip. Uh, this was another change that I noticed from the original re-release of the Elmo. As you can see here, the clip on the Chrysocola is actually larger. It's both wider and longer. Uh, from what I can tell online, the black model has the smaller clip, and the subsequent models, which there are a few of, have this larger one. Um, I do care for the wheeled clip. I've always had a fondness for wheeled clips. Below the clip, it has the Montegrappa name, which has been engraved and filled with silver paint. I think the look is simple and classy, and I like it. The transition from the cap to barrel is even and punctuated by a silver-colored band. The barrel is straight for about an inch, and then it evenly tapers down to the end, where it is rounded and similar in size to the end of the cap. The cap twists off to reveal this number six Yovo manufactured nib, complete with Montegrappa branding and their traditional octagonal pattern. I feel it's a really sharp looking nib. This pen is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 stub. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section is a bit on the thin side for my preference. Uh, it is slightly concave and transitions into the wide blocky metal cap threads. Uh, as with the clip, uh, this is another difference between the models. Uh, some have resin threads and others, like this pen here, have metal ones. Then there is a rather steep step up to the barrel. Even though this step up is fairly steep, I don't find it to be uncomfortable even when my grip is resting directly on the transition. This is a cartridge converter pen. A converter is provided and it will also accept standard international cartridges, two of which are provided as well. There are metal parts in both the barrel and the section, so eye dropping the Elmo would not be recommended. 
the cap does post and it does post securely and it's light enough that I don't feel it backweights the pen or throws off the balance. Uh, something I found interesting is that the cap on the black model with the smaller clip actually weighs a few tenths of a gram more than this cap with a larger clip. That has to do with the parts on the inside of the cap. On the black model, some of those parts are metal and on this model, those parts are now plastic, reducing the weight ever so slightly. I do like that the end of the cap is not sharp. A sharp cap edge rubbing against my hand is one of my pen pet peeves, so it's nice that it doesn't come into play with the Elmo. Um, even though this section is a little bit thinner than my personal preference, I do find the pen to be comfortable in the hand even for longer writing sessions. I mentioned it up top, but the Montegrappa Elmo Chrysocola is a limited edition. There were 300 of these pens produced and are available exclusively through Goulet pens. Uh, the original re-release of the Elmo retails for $199. This limited edition model is slightly higher for 236. Now, I feel that's a reasonable price for this pen. Uh, the pen is very solid and feels very well built. Um, the metal portions of this pen do a good job of adding some weight and structure to the pen to make it feel more substantive. And I really, really care for this green resin. I have to say it's one of my favorite materials I've seen on a new pen in quite some time. Uh, I encourage you to check out this pen on the Goulet Pens site. There will be a link in the notes below. So, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Montegrappa Elmo Chrysocola. First of all, in the light, you could really see this nice green material. I just think that looks very, very cool. In regard to some size comparisons, here it is with an original uh, Montegrappa Elmo that was released last year. And then here it is with one of my other favorite green pens, which is a Pelican M1000. And then finally, here it is with a Diplomat Arrow. And in regard to a few pens that are going to be reviewed here in the fairly near future, uh, this one is called the Venustus Carbon T. Uh, then we also have an ST Tupont William Shakespeare model. Uh, and then finally, we have a pen from a custom maker in the Czech Republic uh, by the name of Pen Tio. And I, I don't, I'm not even sure if this model has a name, uh, but this is some very cool looking kind of snake skin, like scale like material, uh, which is fairly cool. So that is what it looks like in regard to those three. In regard to uncapped comparison, here it is with the Diplomat Arrow, the other black Montegrappa Elmo, and then here it is with the Pelican M1000. Here we go with the writing sample for the Montegrappa. Elmo, and this is the Chrysiocola, which is C-H-R-Y-S-O-C-O-L-L-A. And this is a medium stainless steel nib. And the ink that I'm using here today is Visconti Green. Uh, this is what the ink looks like. I thought it was a nice complement for the green color coming out of this pen here. Uh, this is what the ink looks like in regard to Mont Blanc Irish Green. And here it is with the Roaring Klinger Verdua. Then this is what the bottle looks like. I've always been a big fan of the Visconti bottles. I just think they look pretty cool. Okay, on with the rest of the writing sample.
I find this steel nib to be very pleasant. I've always cared for the nibs that Montegrappa puts on their pens. I know that they're manufactured by Yovo, but this one is very nice. Um, you're not going to get tons of flex out of it, um, but I found that the ink flow is decent out of this medium nib. Uh, in regard to reverse writing, it's slightly scratchy, but in regard to some fast writing, there's no issue whatsoever. So here we have the Montegrappa Elmo Crisio Cola. Uh, I encourage you to go check this out on the Goulet Pen site since it is an exclusive for them. Uh, it's something that, like I said, is probably one of my more favorite materials I've uh, had a chance to take a look at recently. There's just something really attractive about this green that uh, draws me to this pen and uh, I am enjoying it a great deal. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.